Have you ever wondered how a cassava plant goes from being planted to becoming a refined product on your table? It's not just an agricultural story. It's a remarkable journey from carefully selected cuttings to vast fields and then to modern factories where they're transformed into valuable products exported around the world. Let's explore this unique process from the very first steps to the final product Everything starts with these small cassava cuttings. These stems are carefully pruned from mature plants, chosen with precision to ensure the strongest growth. Don't underestimate these cuttings. They're the lifeblood of an entire season. Each of these cuttings has the potential to grow into a robust cassava plant, contributing to a bountiful harvest. The cassava is planted at a density of 10,000 to 12,000 plants per hectare, with rows spaced 80 to 100 centimeters apart and 40 to 60 centimeters between plants. This spacing not only gives the plants enough room to grow, but also optimizes the field's yield potential, ensuring the highest productivity per hectare. It's a carefully calculated setup, with a bit of affection in the mix, too. The drip irrigation system is a lifesaver, ensuring the cassava plants get enough water without worrying about oversaturation. This system delivers 300 to 500 millimeters of water annually, ensuring the plants grow evenly while conserving resources. Think of it like brewing a drip coffee, slow and steady, making sure not a drop is wasted. In the first few weeks after planting, cassava needs meticulous care. The soil must be kept moist for four to six weeks to ensure the roots have enough water to grow. Regular soil moisture checks are essential to prevent the plants from drying out. You could say this is the stage where cassava is like a toddler that needs special attention to grow up strong. NPK fertilizer and organic compost are applied at various growth stages of the cassava. A fertilizer application of 100 to 150 kilograms per hectare provides the necessary nutrients for robust growth and optimal yield. Regular weeding also plays a crucial role, ensuring the cassava doesn't have to compete for nutrients with weeds. This is no small task. It's like clearing the arena so the cassava can shine. After nine to 10 months of cultivation and care, the cassava fields are now ready for harvest. These mature plants with their sturdy stems and lush green leaves are a testament to the farmer's hard work and careful attention. Harvesting cassava is the most anticipated time of the year. These white plump roots weighing between five to seven kilograms are pulled from the soil as the culmination of many months of hard work. Each root is not just an agricultural product, it's a source of pride for the farmers. This isn't just a harvest, it's a mini celebration of joy and success.
freshly harvested cassava is immediately transported to the processing plant. To ensure quality, cassava must be processed within 24 hours of harvest. Handling between 500 and 1,000 tons daily, the processing plant becomes the heart of the operation, where fresh cassava undergoes modern processing stages to become the final product. It's the final battle to turn fresh cassava into valuable goods. The processing of cassava begins with cleaning and peeling each root. Then, the cassava is sliced and dried at a stable temperature to preserve all its nutrients. Every step in this process is tightly controlled, from drying to milling, ensuring that the final product meets the highest standards of quality and safety. It's not unlike the precision involved in manufacturing a luxury car. Everything must be flawless. The final product after processing is finely milled cassava flour, ready for export to international markets. The plant can process up to 200 tons of dried cassava daily, producing thousands of tons of high-quality flour. These products not only meet domestic demand but also conquer international markets from China to Japan and across the EU. With continuous development, cassava products have become a strategic commodity significantly contributing to the national economy. The carefully packed shipments of dried cassava and flour are ready to be exported, providing a stable income for farmers and promoting the growth of local communities. Each export batch is not just an economic achievement, but also a source of pride for the entire community. The story of cassava isn't just about a plant. It's about the deep connection between people and the land, about perseverance and endless creativity. From the fields to the factory, from simple cuttings to high-quality products, this journey is a testament to the resilience and ability to overcome all challenges. This is the spirit that farmers carry with them and will continue to pass down to future generations.